do you guys ever just have those days where you just simply don't feel like doing anything? Today is one of those days for me. Not gonna lie, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the weather, cause it's, hold on, hold on. Seventeen degrees out where I'm at. But it feels like negative three. So that's even worse. And I really wanna go out and shoot. But this weather, I am telling you, is it's hard. <laughs> it is hard to wanna get out and do that. When your hands are literally about to freeze off, I it is super hard. The thing is, I've been stuck in the house all day. I have not done anything besides go to class and I have nothing the rest of the day, so I feel like I have to be productive. Oh, oh man. Hello. All right, forget it, let's do it. go okay be good get out of the trash actually let's do that right there get that yep so back in the day of being a student athlete i was asked a question by my coach one day and it was more of a question for everybody because he just wanted to know and put it out there um and it was one of those normal motivational things that coaches do and try to get you excited for what you're about to go do, whether that's lifting or running. And at the time, I couldn't get excited for anything like that. I was just done, I was fed up with it. I was going through the same things over and over and it was just a routine of something that I just did not look forward to doing every single day. And it was hard to want to get out of bed and go do it. And so at the time I'm like, dude, I'm just here so that I can get paid to go to school. And that was literally it. It was all about the money for me. It was no more about the passion. And as all I knew all my life was football. It was, that was it. It was just only sports. And I didn't really know much else that I was good at or thought about doing anything else but sports. And so when he said the question, at first it just went in one ear and out the other. But as I started thinking about it and I started pondering on it a little bit more, I tried to figure out what it is that I wake up every single day and get excited to do because I have lost that. Football isn't that anymore, so what is it gonna be? And so today, guys, I'm questioning you, what is your why? What is it that makes you get out of bed and excited to start the day? I mean, everybody has those things in life and their day-to-day -day routine that they just don't want to do, but they have to do it. But I think that there should always be in your life one thing a day that you are super excited about doing. And if you don't have that, then what's the point of your day-to-day -day life? Like, get something that you're excited about, get something that you're passionate about, and just go do it. So. That's going to be the theme of this video today, guys, is what is your why? And in a little bit, we're going to talk about what mine is and kind of go into further detail on that. So you can get a little bit more insight as, as to what I do and why I do it. So without further ado, guys, let's go shoot some B-roll. longest time I think I fell into the trap of worrying a lot about what people think about you as most people I think would and that trap that trap can be so like 
limiting. It can be so limiting and like a, like a cage almost that if you're always constantly worried about what other people are thinking, you're only gonna try to fit in to please them. And at the end of the day, it's not their lives you're living, it's your life you're living. And I think that if you are constantly worried about other people's opinions and views and thoughts, then you're just not gonna be able to live your own life the way that you would want to. I was on Facebook the other day and I saw something and it really stuck with me and it's gonna continue sticking with me because it was so deep. And it said, I was talking with my therapist one day and he said, hey, have you ever thought about it this way? Instead of worrying about what if it doesn't work and what if it doesn't go right and what if you aren't successful, think about the other way. What if you are? What if everything works out perfectly? What if everything you do, it just turns to success? And what if all your hard work pays off? What if? Why, I think what ifs are always negative, but what if it's positive? I've, I've never thought of it that way and it just has stuck with me so much since. So why don't we start thinking that way? Why don't we start thinking, what if it works? What if it pays off? What if tomorrow it happens? What if everything I thought could go wrong doesn't and it goes the opposite and it goes perfectly? What if, why don't we think like that? And I think that in order to be successful in anything you do, you have to think like that because there's so many times nothing comes easy. Nothing is just a straight up path like this. It's never like that. It's always going to be ups and downs. And I think that when you're on those down times, that's one of the easiest to give up. But I think that those are the times that really show if you're going to make it or if you're going to break. I'm not trying to sound like a motivational speaker or anything like that. I'm just telling you guys why I'm doing what I'm doing. And it's because a simple fact of I've always stopped. I've always just been told I can't do it or I'm not going to be able to do it. And at the end of the day, I'm just running out of time. Every day we're, we're living, we're dying. So why aren't we living the life we want to live now? And that's all I'm doing. That's all I'm simply doing. My passion, my why is simply to be creative, show God's work, and make something for other people to see the beauty of this planet, of other people, of everything in a way that they not they might not normally see it. And I'm only starting. Like I said, I'm six months in to this photography videography thing. And I'm, I feel like I can only go up from here. And that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep learning, keep working, keep driving, and see where how far I can take this. So without further ado, guys, thank you for checking out my video. If you wanna keep following my journey, follow me on Instagram. The link's gonna be in the description below, as well as my Facebook page. Also, as always, like, comment, subscribe, it really helps me out. Um, anything that you guys do that interacts with me, it lets me know you guys are there listening watching and i'm giving something of value to you it's awesome it's always awesome so without further ado guys thanks for checking out and uh i'll see you next time